Hey, this is Brooks with Character Design Forge. Text is in Procreate now. Why is that such a big deal? Well, as I've talked about before on this channel, Procreate does basically everything else, and it does it really well. The comic I recently released, a Parcel Stitch in Time, was made entirely in Procreate, at least until it came time to add text, at which point I brought it into Photoshop. Procreate was already a fully featured, ergonomically designed, portable art app, and now it's getting the one thing that graphic designers, comic artists, and storyboard artists needed. All within, and I can't emphasize this enough, every time they add amazing new features, an app that only costs $10 once, not $10 a month, like Adobe asks. Today I'll show you how to add text, new fonts, and explore all that this tool has to offer. I'll also show you what else is new in this version, including animation. Kind of. From a certain point of view. After a fairly sizable update, you'll now be greeted by a Procreate that looks basically exactly the same. But now, under the wrench icon, we can select Add Text. The text will call on whatever color you have selected in the upper right hand corner, but you can change color easily and call the text menu back up easily. You have a fairly standard text editor available to you. I actually really like this outline option that replaces the text with a stroked and hollow version. The included fonts are great and extensive, but what if you want to add a new font? Oh no, what do I do? What I do is this. You can click import font and you can bring one in from the files app. I found it easiest to put fonts in my iCloud drive. I was also only able to import .ttf files, and I'm assuming open text fonts will work as well, but just not this sweet file, which is how it was stored on my Mac. If the import is successful, you'll get this check mark. Here I've got Web Letterer from Blambot, which I love for making comics. As I explained in my fastest process for making comics in Procreate video, making text bubbles is as easy as creating elliptical marquee selections and adding tails to them. Once you've finished creating your text, you can still edit it, but if you'd like to erase, customize, or do something else to your text, you'll need to rasterize it. You can also warp, liquify, skew, and resize text after rasterization as well. There's a few other features that Procreate snuck in here, including the ability to animate to an extent. One of the new export options is Animated GIF, which will cycle through layers with the option of the background toggled on and off. If you draw with the intention of something being animated, you'll just need to create a new layer for each frame. Here's the assets I made for my video last week, which included this really rudimentary game run cycle. But then there's a couple of other random layers in there as well. But if I toggle those layers visibility off though, I just get the run cycle in the Animated GIF. It's really just half a run cycle. It isn't that great. The ability to change the frame rate is really nice. I'm looking forward to making art that maybe moves subtly, kind of like Zach Gorman's Magical Game Time comic. You can also choose to export a folder of these layer files as individual PNGs, which is probably more practical if you intend to create animation or storyboarding in Procreate. PDF export works the same way. Speaking of individual layers, pressing and holding on a layer will isolate only that layer as visible, which is a really useful tool, and it's one that I've wanted in the past before, especially as your document gets more and more layers stacked together. Pressing and holding again will bring back the visibility of the rest of the layers. We also have several new blending modes including darker color, lighter color, vivid light, linear light, pin light, hard mix, and divide. I'm pretty sure that brings them up to speed, with every blending mode that Photoshop already has. Text may seem like a small addition to this app, but it was the final tool that I kept needing to go back to Photoshop for or try to fumble through in another iPad app. Now though, my comics making process is 100% mobile, which is really exciting. And I can make work that includes text for clients, and I'm really itching to try some of that animated GIF art. Procreate is hands down the best app on the iPad, and it's my art app of choice. And at this point, is there anything you still really want to be added to Procreate? Apart from things like vector shapes and a few nice-to-haves, I'm truly content with the state of this app. 
but let me know if there's something else you think that it needs. If this video is helpful for you, please give it a like as that helps a lot. That's it from me. I'm making new videos every week at 11 a.m. Eastern, Tuesday mornings on Character Design Forge. Subscribing lets you know when new videos are made available. My Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon are all Bagel Denizen, and you'll see them in a few seconds. Thank you so much for watching, and have fun creating.